Nasoalveolar molding, or NAM, is a treatment option for children born with a complete cleft lip and palate. At Seattle Children's Hospital, specialized orthodontists offer NAM therapy for infants with unilateral, bilateral, and mixed clefts. NAM treatment begins as early as the first week of life and continues until the primary lip repair at approximately six months of age. The goal of NAM treatment is to reduce the severity of the cleft prior to lip surgery by closing the gap between the lips and gums and improving symmetry of the nose. The surgeon is then able to repair the lip more easily, resulting in a smaller scar with less tension on the lip and an overall better result. To begin NAM treatment, molds of the infant's nose and mouth are taken while the infant is awake. These are used to fabricate a custom appliance, which is then adjusted as the infant grows. Cheek pads are placed outside the crease of the nose to protect the baby's skin. A base tape is then used to help close the gap between the lips. For a unilateral cleft, the tape should be applied first to the non-cleft side, then stretched across the cleft while squeezing the lips together. The molding plate is inserted at a 90 degree angle and rotated into the mouth. Using one finger to stabilize the plate, two additional retention tapes are then used to secure the device in place. Parents are taught how to make the tapes so they can do it themselves at home. This is an example of two retention tapes and the longer base tape, which would be used for an infant with a complete unilateral cleft. are given supplies at the beginning of NAM treatment and at every visit as needed. NAM visits occur weekly or bi-weekly. At each visit, the orthodontist will make changes to the appliance to gradually mold the lips and nose. When the gap between the gums has been reduced to approximately 5 millimeters, a nasal stent is added to the molding plate. The soft pink acrylic of the nasal stent should rest on the nostril rim to lift and shape the nose. Infants can be fussy at the first few visits as the appliance is inserted and removed. However, the appliance is not painful, it's just something new, and they often calm down within a few minutes. Occasionally, a child's cheeks may appear red or irritated as a result of taping. This generally heals quickly, but parents should notify their doctor, as alternative materials can be used. Infants are often comfortable eating and sleeping with the NAM appliance in place. Seattle Children's Hospital is proud to have skilled orthodontists on our craniofacial team who provide NAM therapy and can care for patients with cleft lip and palate at every stage of their development. <laughs>